My name is Matt Micah. I'm the creator of Warped Perception. This is a show that I created to give people a different look at things that they see every day. No doubt that slow motion, it looks cool, right? But additionally, I think that there's a lot of information in that footage that is kind of exposed through the use of high speed. Of my Warped Perception projects, some of my favorites are, um, well, so, I don't remember all of them because I just do too many. All right. Hi everyone. Today I am exploring a subject that I find very interesting, the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker is part of almost everybody's modern day life, usually in silence. And the only time you usually know about a circuit breaker is when a circuit breaker trips. And in extreme cases, this can prevent your house from burning down. Circuit breakers normally interrupt the flow of current in two situations. One is a slow, gradual increase in load until it exceeds the rating of the circuit breaker. And the other is a complete short circuit. I want to see visually what's going on inside of that circuit breaker. So this is what a circuit breaker looks like inside. The power comes in here, goes out here, and everything in between this whole mechanism is the actual circuit breaker. These are the contacts down here. And as you can see, they're open. Now the contacts have closed. So now the power has a complete circuit to travel from here to here. And what I'm really interested in today is this bimetallic strip right here, which is like a trigger. So when too much current flows through this, trips the breaker just like that. This is gonna be our hot coming from our 100 amp breaker. Let's get right in there. Before I did this episode on circuit breakers, all these years that I have done electrical work and circuit breaker panels, in all these years, I haven't actually opened the circuit breaker to see what's going on inside. I learn something on every single episode that I make. <laughs> all right, I got my circuit breaker all set, ready to replicate a slow blow scenario. Microwave, toaster oven, and last but not least, hair dryer. I'm gonna overload the circuit breaker to show exactly what happens inside the circuit breaker when it trips. Oh, there it goes, it's smoking already. Yeah. Bam, there it goes. Just in time. I'm just gonna back this high speed footage up and take a look. If you look at that metal strip, you can see that when the metal strip heats up, it changes shape. You can actually see the metal strip bend and then the whole circuit breaker just opens and interrupts the circuit. In total, with all three of these appliances, it took like, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds. 30, 40 seconds. All right, now that I have that slow blow out of the way, it is short circuit time. And this is gonna be really simple, so I'm excited about this one. Simple, but explosive. I'm just gonna take an extension cord that I cut, something you should probably never mess with at home, right here, bare cables on an extension cord, and just simply touch these wires together. Safety first, ready to go. Wow, I got them like super close and it's not arcing yet. Wow, look at that, that's crazy. All right, let's see how that looked. Oh, there it goes, look at that spark. The whole damn armature spark this time. That's crazy. So the short circuit situation, since there's so much current flowing through that mechanism at once, it creates a strong magnetic field the strip now acts as a magnetic device. The interrupt is almost instantaneous. In this case, this happens so fast, after counting the frames here, I can see that the entire event lasted a mere six milliseconds. That's fast. So that's about it. After replicating both scenarios, the slow blow and the short circuit, what I found most interesting is how they were able to combine two mechanisms into one device, thermal magnetic, meaning thermal and magnetic. Hopefully I have warped your perception of the circuit breaker. 